a piece of equipment is leaving. Can you guess what it might be? I bet you probably can. All right, so this is the Belarus. While you're up there, just real quick, somebody asked, would you do a walkthrough on kind of how to operate this thing? I'm not sure. <laughs> Keep in mind, all the directions are in Russian. These are from Russia. Yep. And you just got to kind of follow the pictures. Um, for one, instead of, you know, like most stick shifts going left and right for neutral, this one goes up and down. Um, first, second, third, or first, second, third, fourth, and then back up top fifth and sixth. And then over here, it's got a splitter. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. Um, it'll split from high to low, all the gears. And then dead center, it's actually got a reverse that it'll go faster in reverse. Um, it kind of trial and error. It does have a description up here on top. Um, I guess some of it's in English, but yeah. Um, I ordered an owner's manual for it, didn't pay attention, and got it in Russian. <laughs> so, live and learn, right? So, clutch um, is the middle. Yep, clutch is dead center. Uh, gas, kind of even more centered, and then your brakes are on the outside, so yep. everything's kind of switched. This does have its own PTO. Um, it's not into the transmission with the tractor. Okay. Um, but you can, if you push it forward, it'll engage with the clutch. If you just pull it back, it, it's all independent. Um, so this it, has been stripped down. It's bare minimal to get it running. So it has an independent PTO, or you can set it up where the PTO stops when you hit the clutch. Correct. Gotcha. And your little pedal on the left over there? Uh, I believe... Oh, that's the uh, PTO to engage it or disengage it. That's its own clutch for the PTO. So you would use this if the PTO was shifted by itself. Correct. This if the PTO was shifted to work with the transmission. Correct. Gotcha. And what's this little... Four-wheel drive. Okay. That don't work. <laughs> that happens. Cool. That and then, just to be clear, you shut it off by pushing the throttle all the way closed. Correct. One chain per side? Yeah. That's one of everybody's favorite questions on YouTube, is how do you secure your tractors to haul them? So what we're doing is 3 8 transport chain, grade 70, hooked to the tractor and directly to the frame of the trailer. And then the load binder will go in the middle of the chain. Now that we have a 64, the John Deere 6410, I said when it showed up this Belarus was gonna be leaving. The Belarus is gone now. We carried it out to a ranch that's operated by some people Brandon knows that wanted it. So we chained it down with four 3 8 chains, one on each corner one 3 8 ratchet binder on each chain uh, the rear chains we crossed hope you enjoyed this uh, i just set up an instagram account it's guy nwy over there too just like it is on youtube i'm going to use that for posting quick little video or uh photos quick photos throughout the day when i really don't have time to shoot a video just to keep you guys in the loop show you what we're doing so thanks for watching subscribe if this is your first time here and yeah more later